Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, I wanted to show how to implement a dash dash version option for a command line tool uh, in Python using the somewhat new import lib metadata module. So let's let's jump into that. So for this example, I'm going to be using a tool that I wrote called AST Pretty. Uh, let me just show you what AST Pretty does first. Uh, VMV. I'm going to set up a virtual env here for AST Pretty. And if we have uh, some Python file, you know, print hello world, what AST pretty, uh, that would be nice if I could spell, <laughs> what AST pretty will do is it will pretty print the, um, the abstract syntax tree, which is useful if you're like writing a linter or something. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's not super important to this. What we want to do today is implement dash dash version, which is currently not an option for AST Pretty. So I'm gonna show you how I would go about doing that. Oh, I left my keyboard on. Oh, well, you get to see the keyboard for this one. <laughs> All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna be using this module called import lib metadata. And this is a new module in Python 3.8. There is a backport for older versions. We'll talk about the backport later. But the important part about this is it looks at metadata of installed packages and allows you to kind of query what what things have been pip installed. So if you do import lib.metadata, uh, I believe it's just dot version, and you can pass in a particular module name and it'll tell you what version is, is set up at the, at the moment. And if you pass in something that's unknown, you'll get a package not found error. And we're gonna be using this to add an arg parse action, which will implement version. And I believe it's, uh, <laughs> I have actually forgot how this works. Uh, let me look at how I did this in pre-commit because pre-commit also does this. And we'll just copy and paste there. Action angles version, that's what I thought it was. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, so let's look at the command line portion of AST pretty. There is uh, parser equals. This is the argument parser that sets up the options of AST pretty and it has a no-show offsets option, which turns off the line number and column information. It has a typed AST support um, if you have the right um, the right module installed. But we're going to add dash dash version, and the way we'll do that is we'll add an argument. I usually like to put it first, just because it's kind of like you know version and help are kind of the two basic options you always want to have. We'll do add argument and it'll be dash dash version and i usually see people do uh dash capital v as another alias for that that just seems to be the like convention that that gets used like if we do get get dash v no not get python dash v sure uh and python dash dash version okay don't don't worry about this this is my weird dot files um there we go python dash v and python dash dash version because they didn't have the virtual env activated. And as we said before, we want action equals version, and I believe it's version equals uh, something here. <laughs> so we'll fill that in in a second. But if we just save this for now and do ASD pretty dash dash version, you'll see that we get that dot 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 that we had before. And uh, we can fill this in here with the package name and the version number. And we'll be using import the metadata that we saw before. So let's import that. So we'll do, uh, I'm actually gonna do it down here because we're gonna write some other code in a second. Import import lib dot metadata. And if we go to our version, we can do an F string that's name. <laughs> Although this will always be main. So let's should probably use prog s, uh, although I'll show a problem with that in a second as well. <laughs> um, prog s will be the program name from the argument parser, which we can configure, but it'll be by default the first part of the command that you run. And we'll do import lib.metadata.version, and we'll pass in our package name here. Now, when I originally thought about doing this, I was just gonna put double under name here. Uh, however, when you run this as a main module, double under name will be double under main, and so it won't give you the right value here. So you have to make sure that you're passing in your package name here. And if we run this now, 
we should get ASD pretty 2.0.0. However, there is one problem with this. If we do Python dash M AST pretty, which AST pretty is also a runnable module, you'll get this slightly different AST pretty dot pi uh, output here, which is not quite what we want. We would rather this to be, uh, you know, just AST pretty. But we can fix this. We go to argument parser. Uh, I believe it's prog equals. Yes. Okay. So there we go. So that's that's that working. However, this currently only works in Python 3.8 and above, uh, because in Python 3.7, uh, dev 37-e pi 3.7. So I'm just going to make a a Python 3.7 virtual environment using dash e pi 3.7. This is a, a feature that Tox has to do this. And if we try and do our version here, we'll see that we get an import error. No module named import lib metadata. Now, fortunately, uh, we can... Oh, there's no install requires here. That's fine. Fortunately, there's a backport package requires um, that provides import lib metadata to older versions of Python. And that package is called import lib dash metadata. Uh, now, we don't want to install it always. We want to only install it on older versions of Python. So we can do that with what's called an environment specifier. And we can say Python underscore version is less than 3.8. And so this will say only install import lib metadata on versions of Python that are older than 3.8. And so if we, oh, we actually have to, we actually have to recreate this environment uh, because we changed the dependencies. So I'm going to delete that and recreate it really quickly. And that should install the import lib metadata backport. Um, I actually looked up here and it looks like it installed it anyway. Uh, this is probably due to PyTest because PyTest also does this same trick. Um, but now if we vm 37 bin activate Python, if we import import lib underscore metadata, this is the backport package, import lib metadata dot version AST pretty. And you can see that this works the same as import lib dot metadata, but in Python 3.7, we need to do special stuff. And we need to adjust our code so that it uses the proper version of that. So what I usually do is I will write an if block that conditionally includes the backport package if we're on an older version of Python, but the standard lib module if we're on a new enough version. So we do that by doing if sys.version info is less than 3.8, import import lib underscore metadata so that's the old one otherwise we'll import input lib dot metadata and i usually like to make these named the same so i'm going to actually use as here so that those imports are both the same but our call down here still uses import lib dot metadata so we got to fix that as well but once we've done that we should be able to asd pretty dash dash version and it works it works in python 3.7 Anyway, uh, let me just put this code up so that you guys can see that while I while I blab on. But this is kind of the the backport code here, and this is kind of the um, setup.cfg dependency code here. And that's basically how you enable this, and then you call the call the version function. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. If you guys have additional stuff you want me to explain or you know show you, uh, let me know in the comments or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.